is somehow tearing and ripping up the inside of my cheek quite a bit still. Here, what noise do potatoes make? Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Cassandra and this is where I talk about my uh, life experiences and lessons learned to try and help other people who might be in similar situations. If that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And if it looks like I'm upset or I've just been crying, it's because I have. Um, I just recorded another video um, about like mental health and the stuff that I worry about and as usual I got upset um, but getting it out made me feel better and now that I've got all my camera and stuff set up I thought I'd just go ahead and um, directly record this video which is my one week update of having adult braces. So today is Saturday and um, a week ago yesterday I got braces for the very first time and I just yeah thought that I would continue the documentation and let you know how that's going. I talked about in my last video on getting braces about how the process of getting them on was surprisingly very pain free. Initially having the braces it was like a lot more comfortable than I expected it to be just based on um, my research and other people's experiences that I've looked into. Um, I got them first thing on Friday. My appointment is at half past eight. For the first half of the day it was still going well, feeling okay, not too bad. And then in the second half of the day when I tried to eat, my teeth were really, really sensitive. And I use the word sensitive instead of painful because it really just was that, that sense of like, if I don't touch them, if I don't use my teeth, if I don't bite down, if I don't do anything, then they were fine. But if I was clenching or chewing um, with a lot of pressure, then I could get different levels of pain. So it just was that thing of like being careful and then it wasn't so bad. And when I stopped eating, it was back to being fine again. Um, but when I was eating, I was definitely being very cautious and where I wasn't, or there was like a bit of food that was a little bit harder, then it was a little bit sore. So I was a little bit worried, like how long is that gonna go on for? Because I've seen a lot of other people's experiences where they say it's really painful. And I'm very happy to report that for me personally, by the next day, so literally the day after I got my braces, it wasn't sore anymore. There was still a slight bit of like um, sensitivity or like sensation, let's say, when brushing my teeth, but it's just been getting better and better since then. So now I practically have no sensitivity in my teeth at all when eating or brushing my teeth. And again, it's only been one week. What has been causing me a little bit of um, issues and discomfort though, is just right at the back of my um, my, my mouth, my jaws, um, where the last brackets are. So when I had um, my palatal expander put in, when I had my SARP surgery, and um, that was just on the top, and my, my top teeth, um, they, they flare out a lot and it's worse on this side the left side and for some reason the molar band and the hook that they put on that side was a lot bigger it was a lot thicker than on the right side um, so when I got that I remember it sort of like catching onto the inside of my cheek and being quite uncomfortable and I very specifically didn't use any pain medication, numbing agent, wax or anything like that because it wasn't that bad and I heard that once you build up a tolerance that it's not sore anymore. So I left that as it was and then it, will, it was actually fine very, very quickly. So I now have something similar um, at the bottom left, <laughs> um, right at the back where I don't know if the bracket is slightly sharp or if it's just because of the way that my, my teeth and jaws and face are that it's just sitting extremely close to the inside of my cheek there. It is somehow tearing and ripping up the inside of my cheek quite a bit still. I just try and be careful and I, I puff my cheeks out. I kind of do that to, to uncatch it from the tissue and it's uncomfortable, but it's not that painful. And as I say, I can very quickly just kind of puff out and it stops catching. And I am confident that in the next couple of days, it will heal over and it'll be better, just like it was on the top before when I had my palatal expander. Um, this time around, because the brackets are uh, a lot smaller than on my palatal expander on this side, 
I don't have any other problems around the rest of my mouth, only here. And again, I'm not using any pain medication, no numbing agents, no wax or anything like that. So I'm very happy about that. I do have a slight lip incompetence, but it doesn't affect me too much. So when I initially got the braces, I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to put my lips together because of having so much metal in the front of my mouth. Um, but actually that wasn't an issue at all. The only time where, it's, where I can feel it, it's a little bit different, but it's not an issue, is like after I brush my teeth and I spit, like the action you do when you put your lips together to spit, I can feel that there's like less space or less flex in my lips to be able to do that the same way I did before. But I'm also noticing again that as time goes on, my body is adapting to that. So it's becoming easier and easier. Oh, I, maybe, I maybe have a slight, slight lisp, slight um, muffling of the sound a little bit, but it's, it's not too bad at all. And I'm not sure if that's because, you know, I've just got the braces on the outside, not on the inside or because when I had the palatal expander for seven months, that got me used to having something else in my mouth that was making me lisp, and then I learned how to lisp less. Not sure. Apart from that as well, um, in terms of brushing my teeth with the braces, it's interesting because I researched this a lot before I got the braces, and what my orthodontist told me is actually quite a bit different to what I'm seeing online from other people and also you know it's that thing of it's your individual mouth and body so you have to kind of adapt it to what works for you and what your needs are so I'm still currently experimenting um, with different ways the best most effective ways to brush my teeth with the braces if you want I can do a video about um, how I brush my teeth with braces at another point. Let me know if you would like to see that. I think I have some I have some plaque disclosing tablets, so I'm also planning at some point to then, yeah, more scientifically um, test out whatever brushing methods that I think work best for me and then test it out with the disclosing tablets. Um, but yeah, I'm still working with that to see what works for me. Oh, and on that note as well, um, I really thought from all the videos that I watched that after eating, that like my brackets and the front of my teeth would just be like covered in food and that it would be so obvious and unsightly. And again, I'm very pleasantly surprised to see that that's not been the case at all. Like there's always some food that's gonna get stuck around there. And like I have a still after two releases a tongue tie. So I'm functionally not able to reach around like all the places in my mouth, even without braces. So having them on as well, it's quite difficult to dislodge food. But I find that with a lot of like rinsing of the mouth and again those other um, like brushing techniques and stuff like that it's actually really easy to get rid of the food but even if you're like out and about at a restaurant or something even just like rinsing my mouth with water and not using any other tools is absolutely fine like you basically can't see anything most of the time and what is stuck is normally somewhere at the back or like really high up on your gum so that people can't see anyway that's just my personal experience, so that's good. Better than I thought. And I think that's all the things I had on my mind for now. Um, if you have any questions about the braces experience or any future videos you would like to see from me, do let me know in the comments below. Like, share, comment and subscribe to follow my journey. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.